So hi guys, welcome back to my video. In this video, gagawa na naman tayo ng ating AutoCAD exercise. So here we have our another exercise and this is one of the activity ng ex-classmate ko na nasa ibang um, course and he gave this um, copy para mapakita sa'yo kung paano gawin yung ganitong exercise and for you to um, practice AutoCAD exercise para makapag-train ka sa sarili mo, okay? So, you can take a picture of it para meron ka reference sa sarili mo kapag practice ka. So, yan. You can take a picture of it. And I think let's begin. Okay. So, first is um, let's make a line. I think. Or I think let's make a circle. Yes. So, we're going to have 120 radius according sa ating, um, ating reference, 120. And we're going to make a, um, ellipse from 300 by, um, I think it is, uh, 150 or 175. Okay, so we're going to, to make, um, cross. So, like what I said, we're going to try 175 and 300 okay so let's move this um midpoint sa midpoint bakit ko ginawa to kasi para magkaroon tayo ng guides sa ating ellipse so for example meron tayong ellipse yan i-connect lang natin okay so by that we have our ellipse dito Mas madali kasing gawin kapag meron kang guidelines. So, let's move. Yan. Ang, sent, ang magiging source point natin is ito. And, ilolocate natin to sa um, ilalim. Ilolocate natin tong base point na to sa ating center. And, after that, we're going to trim. Yan. And, select this. And use the array, AR, command, enter. So, for this, we're going to select the polar and specify the center. So, for this, we have 6 petals. And according dito, may 6 petals dito, dito. So, this is okay. So, by that, I'm going to type enter. And select this one kasi ito ay naka-block. Naka so, by that, we're going to X. To explode this um this array so by using x or explode and then enter or spacebar it explode so trim naman natin tong mga hindi naman natin tong kailangan tong mga sobrang lines ng ating ating ellipse or kung gusto niyo gawin niyo yung ginagawang technique with the use of f for fillet so, since 0 yung ating radius, so, connect lang natin. Ayan, connect, connect. Okay, so, we're going to select this outer layer. Ayan, and then type join para mapag-isa natin at maging um, polygon yung ating drawing. So, sabi, 6 polygons converted into one spline or... Uh, close object. So, meron na tayo dito petal. Yan. And, by that, we're going to copy this. Yan. Copy natin to. Okay. So, kulayan natin to ng red. So, bakit ko kanyulay ng red? Para ito yung magiging reference natin sa ating susunod na circle. So, ang circle daw natin sa susunod is 66.9. According sa ating ano, um, sorry, so 66.9. Select natin to, and we're going to use the command um align, so that we can scale the drawing. So select natin to, tell to yung magi scale or kailangan nat scale, and we're going to use the command al for align. So center, so center, and then yung ating endpoint sa ating endpoint. Ayan. So, yes to scale. 
and delete natin to and back to layer so by that meron na tayong um, petals or the flower rather so by that we're going to make a line patayo ulitin natin so patayo na line Ayan. And offset natin ng 100. And by that, it's going to have a line or extend natin. So by this, we're going to have a line. So mula daw dito, we're going to have 400 sa sa drawing. And then, the next one daw will be 223. So, kapain nyo lang yung angle. Kung saan mag-fit. So, 223. Yeah. Ang galing natin to. And the last one is to move this um, petals or the ating ellipse with circle dito sa endpoint na to. And I think this is our drawing. So that's it. So ganun lang kadali yung um, pag-drawing natin with the use of this kind of um, commands or techniques na ginagawa ko. So you can practice this on your own and by this it will be your reference para if may concern kayo kung paano ko ginawa yun is maaari nyo naman um, makita tong video na to or panoorin para magkaroon kayo ng background knowledge sa mga commands or other anything stops dito sa ating AutoCAD. And I hope that I will see you in my next video. Peace!